Ah yes, the microwave oven, a technological marvel first developed in 1947, but not common in households until the late 1960s. It's been through the ringer, that's for sure, but there's still many mysteries to unravel about this magical device. So put on your top hat and let's talk turkey chum. Here's 10 microwave tricks for your daily slot. Cold food usually isn't fun, but reheating things in the microwave can often leave cold spots. We can avoid this entirely by placing our reheatables on the edge of the microwave. The center is typically a dead zone, and this will give you a more balanced heating. Here's another great way to reheat food without losing flavor. Place a mug or cup on your plate and surround it with your food. Simply reheat the items as usual, but this time, relax and know that you're removing the dead spot in the center. Your food will come out delicious and thoroughly cooked on all ends. It's simple but effective. Oh, and hey, here's one more quick reheating tip. If you don't want your food getting dry, Dried out and rubbery, simply grab a wet paper towel and squeeze out the excess water. Now lay it on top of your dish and microwave as usual. The moisture will help keep the food from burning and becoming dry. This also serves as a great way to prevent food from splattering when heated. Microwave popcorn isn't the cheapest thing and it's often riddled with calories and saturated fat. Toss it and make your own. Just get some dried kernels and follow this recipe. Half a cup of kernels, half a teaspoon of vegetable oil, and then some salt. Mix it all together and toss it in a paper bag. Fold the bag in over itself a few times and then nuke it for two minutes. Boom! Homemade, delicious popcorn. Eat your heart out, Redenbacher. Now, most microwave tricks are fairly straightforward, but how about something a bit more strange? Well, our good friend and resident weirdo, Rob Dyke, has a tip for you involving stale potato chips. There really isn't anything worse than stale chips, so why don't we take a look at how to bring those chips back to life? <laughs> Say you've been squatting in a vacant house and when you get home from personal business, you realize you left your week's worth of food open and now it's stale. That's an easy fix. Just get out your microwave and pop the chips in for 30 seconds. Find something productive to do while you wait. And once the chips are done, take them out and take a bite. You'll find that they're back to their old selves. And so are you. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Be sure to clean up afterwards. It can be a bit messy. Well, thank you for that, Rob. That was a great tip. Want to make some pasta without the hassle of watching the pot boil? Simple. Pour a serving of pasta into a bowl and cover it with a bit of water. Now take a look at the box for boiling time. Simply add three minutes extra to the designated time and toss it all in the microwave. When it's done, you'll have perfectly cooked pasta. Just add some sauce and go to town. No stove required. Oh God, does it smell like something died in your microwave? <laughs> Don't fret. We can handle this real quick. Simply grab a bowl and add one cup of water and two tablespoons of white vinegar. Now toss it in the microwave and let it run for five minutes. The vinegar will boil off along with the water and get rid of any nasty smell that was left lingering. Yeah, it might smell like vinegar for a minute, but that's a lot better than the scent of rotting tuna fish. Got a sweet tooth but low on time? Get yourself a box of cake mix from your pantry and follow all the directions on the box. We're simply adding water, oil, and eggs along with the cake mix. Now the trick here is that we don't actually need to use the oven. Just put the batter in a mug or a glass and heat it for two minutes on high. Boom! Instant and delicious cake fresh out of the microwave. Oh, and hey, if you want to do the whole cake, just toss the dish in for four minutes. Look, I hate peeling garlic. It's annoying, but I love adding it to my recipes. Did you know that you can peel garlic really quick if you just break a clove off and put it in the microwave for 15 seconds? Once it's done, you just squeeze the husk and the garlic will pop right out with no problems. Want to make some corn on the cob without all the fuss? Sure, we all do. Take your corn while it's still in the husk and toss it directly into the microwave for four minutes. Let it cook and simmer and then simply remove it from the microwave and cut off the larger end. Now just squeeze the stalk and the corn will pop out of the husk without any silk attached. It's now ready to eat. Just add some salt and butter to taste. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out Rob Dyke's channel for more bizarre stories. Just click the video below and you'll be whisked away to the magical world of Seriously Strange. We'll see you all next time.